All right, so how fun does this look, y'all? What you see here, that's not the battery or some new Sandy Springs dream. No, this is what is planned for the infamous Gulch, that stretch of 50 acres across from State Farm Arena, deep in downtown Atlanta. I know what you're thinking. Man, we have heard this before how many times? For more than 40 years, developers have talked about changing the property and, in essence, the city. The 50-acre site sits next to Mercedes-Benz Stadium and right across the street from State Farm Arena. Well, here tonight, new at 6, I met exclusively with the Centennial Yards CEO and president to see what is different this time. Tony Ressler bought the Atlanta Hawks, and he looked across the street at the big hole in the ground, which we affectionately known as the, the Gulch, and said, I want L.A. live there. Brian McGowan has the immense job of seeing through the dream of Hawks owner Tony Ressler and several others. Super cool concept. This building here would be a multi-tenant retail building, so bars and restaurants. You know, the whole thing about retail now is interactive retail. So here's the question. Yeah. Is it really happening? Because we've seen, unfortunately, this movie before. For 42 yeah. years, there have been attempts. Yeah. What's different? There's a, a number of uh, local investors along with some kind of more national institutional investors. Uh, the big point is that it's equity finance. We're not borrowing money, so we're not subject to interest rates and things like that. Ressler, his developer brother, and others who include Arthur Blank and Andy Young are trying to build a come-early, stay-late vibe on game days. On all days, McGowan says he's hoping music will be spilling out into the common areas. Centennial Yards is enormous. It's 50 acres. It's a $5 billion project. It's 3,000 apartments, multiple hotels, office space, etc. The first phase at $500 million is under construction now. It's set to have plenty of bars and restaurants, the hot new spots, and an entertainment venue which has the support of some of Atlanta's most influential artists. What we do know about Centennial Yards, the Gulch, is that this time it does seem different. So we had uh, Andy Young here, who uh, is one of our investors, but he looked out the window at the site, which is right behind us, and he put his hand on the heart, on his heart, and he said, this has been the hole in my heart since I ran for mayor. Wow, and yeah. anyone who's walked around that area understands exactly what he's talking about. I mean, this could be ready in time for the World Cup? Um, partially ready, mm -hmm. right? They'll have at least some of the common areas ready as we host the world once again. And it's ambitious, and they know that, but the financing is different. You know, there have been a lot of dreamers, but they're vertical. Mm -hmm. So that's when you start to say, okay, it's something there. Could be transformative. Amazing.